Sekarang saya Here it is the prototype what I have used to demonstrate the project and uh, it is very simple and only a few components are there. It is an Arduino Uno board and I have connected an infrared LED to transmit the infrared signal to control the TV or set top box and uh, this is an infrared receiver what I have used to uh, get the signal from the remote to store the keys value in this device and to store the keys value I have used a small EPROM what is connected over there this complete device is an RTC and a small I2C EPROM is also available over there and I have used this EPROM to store the remote control keys input value in this EPROM and it is a simple Bluetooth device which I have used to connect my Android phone with this whole project. So this is all I have done in prototyping. Now I, I want to develop an uh, device to do the same and uh, to develop the device I am having some basic things and that is there I have developed an PCB and uh, on this PCB I'm going to develop the same device uh, standalone device and uh, we can use it as a product also and uh, here it is an Arduino Pro mini board what I'm going to use with this project and these two are capacitors and a uh, 5 volt voltage regulator, this is infrared transmitter and receiver, some connectors, pins are there and this is a EPROM what I am going to use to store the remote control keys in this project though, byte memory chip and in place of it we can use 32 also, so we can use uh, 24C 32A also and these are some other uh, components like uh, resistance and capacitors etc and this is switch and the, by using these some basic components I am going to develop an uh, product which will be able to control the infrared devices through the Bluetooth and uh, we will be able to connect this device with the Android phone and then further this device will control the devices on infrared and uh, will communicate with the device with the Bluetooth so we will be able to control the devices through the Bluetooth directly let's see now I am going to place these all components and uh, parts on this board and I uh, will make it done then I will show you how my this product is actually working here it is, I have also developed a uh, same device as a product and uh, I have developed this PCB and connected all the components. It is a Arduino Pro Mini 5V and uh, I have connected a IR receiver and IR transmitter and here it is an I2C Pro that is uh, 24C64 a and it will store the IR remote keys and uh, I'll be able to use it further using this Bluetooth I'm going to connect with this device over there here it is the things are ready I have connected this 
small project with this battery and uh, here it is a 5 volt voltage regulator which is converting the 7.4 volt into 5 volt to use with this device and uh, now I'll give you a demo how it works uh, it is having two option over there by using this switch in this condition it will be in the mode of recording uh, in this condition I am able to record the infrared remote control using this infrared sensors and uh, in this another mode it is in the use condition where I'll be able to use the stored value using my Android application with the Bluetooth. I would like to give you a demo how I'm able to record the infrared remote control keys with this device. First we have to launch the application and uh, we have to connect this Bluetooth with the phone application now it is trying to connect here this LED indicates that it is connected and I'm um, to change this device mode in recording mode and here it is now in recording mode and uh, to record the key we have to press any of the key of this Bluetooth remote and uh, assume that I'm going to press this set of box power on key and this end LED indicate that it has received a Bluetooth key and it is expecting a infrared corresponding key and in front of this uh, IR receiver if I press the key now this LED indicate that it has been recorded so in this way we, we are able to record the infrared remote keys on this device with the corresponding Bluetooth key and further we will be able to use so in this condition it is in recording mode and uh, if I change the switch now it is in the condition of the mode where I am able to use this keys here it is the app inventor website and uh, by using this uh, website I have developed an Android application and uh, this is a layout of uh, the remote control bluetooth remote control and in this layout here it is you can see a uh, button is there to connect uh, select and connect the bluetooth and after connection we can use these all switches now I would like to show the blocks also and uh, here it is the blocks in this you can see first uh, I have chosen a list picker and from the list picker I'll get the list of the available Bluetooth uh, and we have to select and after selection it get connected with the uh, device what I've developed and uh, after that when we press the key it send the string to the device if in this example you can see if uh, we press the TV power button then it sends BT to IR01 and uh, similarly we can see for all the keys I have defined a fixed string and this number represent the key and it is also represent the storage location for the EPROM so I have uh, chosen this number in sequence so all the data will be stored in EPROM in the sequence here it is my device is ready to work and uh, first I am to launch the application and uh, then I have to connect this device with the Bluetooth and uh, here it is connected now I am to switch on the set of box and I am also to on the TV 
and uh, here it is both the device are on and now I can choose the channel what I am to see using this Bluetooth remote control I can change the channel I can mute the TV sound I can mute the set of box sound and whatever I am able to do with the simple remote I am able to do with this Bluetooth remote also here you can see I can see the information about the channel I can cancel whatever I am able to do with the remote and uh, I have recorded both the TV remote and the set-top box remote at once you can see these all keys belongs to the TV and here it is also these two key belongs to the TV and uh, rest key rest all other keys are of the set-top box I can off these all devices and to exit here it is the key um, exit from the application and you can see this device is working fine